Southern California. Starting back in the mid 70s and living well into the 90s, something amazing was happening. I mean, something that we've somehow lost and it's something I pray makes a comeback. I'm talking about the absurdly unique and often misunderstood mini truck scene. By the way, we're working on a video that explores the full and amazing history of the entire mini truck scene, so hit that sub button if you're interested, fellas. What's up, motorheads, and welcome back to Gearbox Pizza. So, there's been a lot of truck love lately, and today is no different, my friends. And to be honest, there's a lot more truck stuff coming, which is pretty exciting. This truck, or, well, mini truck, well, it comes to us from California, and it's by a new shop called Tello. And in a world where trucks are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, there's just so much room in the market for some smaller trucks. In fact, as far as electric trucks go, there's not even a true mid-sized truck on the market. And this, well, this thing's tiny. Gee, so tiny. And for comparison's sake, it is just about the same footprint as a Mini Cooper. Yeah, seriously, it's 152 inches long. That's it. So Tello says that even though this thing is five full feet shorter than the Toyota Tacoma, it's gonna have more or less the overall same capacity. And because it doesn't need a traditional engine bay or gas tank, this thing can really take advantage of just about every inch. And for example, the batteries are on the floor and then the motors, both of them, well, they sort of fit snugly around each the front and the rear axle. And there's a speaking of motors. So, <laughs> so check this out. Combine, they output 500 horsepower. Yeah, 500 horsepower in this thing. 0 to 60 comes in at a claim four seconds flat, and this thing's gonna top out at 125 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, welcome to the world of EVs. I mean, this had this thing been gas powered, I mean, there's no doubt you have like a three or four cylinder, and even with a modern turbo, you're just never, ever seeing performance like this and something like this. So even at this size, Tello says it can somewhat comfortably fit five people and still have a five foot bed out back to haul whatever gear you might have. And all right, look, let's talk range. It's got a pretty beefy 106 kilowatt hour battery that's good enough to power this thing for 350 miles. Oh, and it, you know, it can do that whole 20% to 80% recharge, fast charge thing in about 20 minutes, provided you actually find a working fast charger, so. Now this thing's pretty versatile also, and look, believe it or not, you can actually fit a stack of four foot by eight foot sheets of plywood in the back by, yup, by folding that bed into the back seat. So, pretty crazy. Then there's also a hard top that sort of converts this thing into more of a traditional SUV. That's pretty cool. And then there's this extra bench seat that'll fit way back in the bed. And then the storage tunnel that you can use, well, for storage, or it happens to double as a footwell for those third row passengers. All right, so, I got a question for you guys and well, what do you think about the way this thing looks? And, like, I don't know. Personally, I think I'm gonna reserve judgment. Look, I'm just really not exactly sure how I feel about the looks. And I'm worried that it's a touch generic, but then again, everything that's super new just sort of looks generic to a certain extent. And then there's that super impressive use of space and the function above everything clever engineering that's given us something that's, well, I wouldn't call it beautiful exactly, and I don't hate it, but I don't think I love it. Actually, I'm a little confused by it, but I'm really curious what you guys think. All right, so regardless of styling, look, this thing's pretty cool, but how much and when can you actually get one? So the price, 50 grand, but that's before any incentives and tax breaks that could actually bring this thing into the high 30s. And in the high 30s, it feels like a super good deal. And at 50K, I'm not quite so sure, but I still think it's a pretty good deal. All right, so the first 500 trucks are gonna be hand-built for customers and be delivered in 2025 with real manufacturing and production happening in 2026. Pre-orders are open, and if this fell is free, you can plop down $152 to reserve your place in line. 